Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Titus, my brother Thomas here, and uh, we got a pattern video for you with his gun. He'll tell you about that in a second, what he's got, what he's shooting. Obviously, this is the Muller Chokes, and something I wanted to tell you guys real quick before we get started. We did partner up with Jim Muller, and he is on a lot of our podcasts, the MVM Show podcast, so you wanna check that out. You guys have really liked those that have seen it. If you haven't seen it, after you watch this video, you might wanna listen to it, a lot of eye-opening stuff. So anyways, he's gonna tell you what gun he's shooting, what ammo he's shooting, and what choke. But before we start, I wanted to let you know, we do have a code you can use to get 10% off if after this video you see something you like. So you can go in the description below or even the comment, and you can see the link there. It just takes you directly to his site, kinda of lets him know that the traffic's coming from our channel. And then you put in the code at checkout if you decide to buy a choke, put in the code MVM, 2024 all caps all one word put it in and you'll get 10% off so without further ado I'll let Thomas tell you what he wants to say yeah so I'm excited to do this uh, pattern test today I really appreciate uh, Jimmy sending us these chokes this is a passing choke that I'm using today I'm gonna be shooting um, heavy bismuth three inch number sixes and I'm gonna be shooting it out of my 20 gauge um, Benelli ethos Cordoba as of right now this is the gun I'm using the most uh, for our duck hunting season. Um, so that's why I'm really excited to use this. I Feel like I'm pretty satisfied with what I have but Titus has been telling me about all the great things that this choke's been doing for his gun So I'm really excited to see what the results are gonna be today. All right, let's do it okay, So the first shot is gonna be 15 yards at the paper that we have as we used last time it's from chasewaterfowl.com if you guys want to check those out that's awesome pattern papers but 15 yards no choke the only reason we're doing this well, we already did it with my gun but we're doing with his because we haven't seen if it's centered yet he's gonna shoot three shots 15 yards no choke against popular opinion you can shoot without the choking go ahead so shot number one shot number two Shot number three. Pretty centered, it looks like to me. All right, so his bore's centered, it looks good. He's gonna th shoot three shells free-handed from 15 yards again with no choke, and then, then we'll start the pattern test. Shot number one. Shot number two. And shot number three. As you guys can see, I'll zoom in a little bit more. Still center punching it. He's not really deviating one way left or right. So everything looks good, uh, it's bore centered. We did it standing and rested, so everything looks good. Now we're gonna start the actual pattern test. And we're gonna start it at 25 yards, and then we're gonna move to 45 yards because this is the passing choke, which is more known for over 40 yards. It's uh, more of a distant, like the word passing. So we're gonna get everything set up, and then he's gonna shoot five shots at 25 yards. His shoulder's gonna be sore after this. It's already sore. 25 yards, we're gonna do four shot, first shot. Shot number two. Shot number three. Shot number four. Looks pretty sweet. Dude, your pattern's 50-50, dude. Looks good. That looks really good. Stay till the end because we're gonna count up the average count of pellets inside a 30 inch circle. Like I was telling you guys before, 70 to 100 is all you need to effectively and ethically kill a bird. So anyways, we're gonna move back because this is a passing choke, we're gonna move back to 45 yards and then we're gonna start counting our 25 yard target and then our 45 and see what we got. So let's go back to 45. 45 yards, shot one. Shot two. Shot three, 45 yards. Shot four. All right, so here, we, after lots of counting, we end up with, for 25 yards with his gun, Ethos Cordoba, 20 gauge, three inch six shot heavy bismuth, ended up with uh, 257 pellets per shot in a side of a 30 inch circle. Now that's 25 yards, and as you can see, when you look at the numbers, you can see it's pretty average. He was a little heavy on the right side, but it was basically the same top and bottom, and that's probably just first trigger pull. 
You want to hear something even more crazy is that's only one pellet off of what I did with my 20 gauge on my Franke Affinity Elite with the decoy choke. And that's because you don't notice the passing choke like Jimmy said until you get past like 40 yards, which is we'll show you in a second. This is four shots and the average for 45 yards with this passing molar choke was 98, almost 99 average pellet count in a 30 inch circle at 45 yards that's where this choke shines now most of us don't probably shoot over 40 yards but when it comes to divers and all that kind of stuff that's when you really need that and that punching power i really was wanting to uh, shoot a decoy on the water to show you guys i'll do that in the next video for lack of time we'll just leave it at this and i'll do this in some other videos where we shoot it on the water and see the implosion because that this is where you really see the difference in these chokes. Either way, as you can see, the count is very similar all the way around. So kind of just a round table right here at the end of the video. So anyways, I don't know what's your thoughts on it. I was pretty excited about it, The mainly the 45 yard. Um, it was just, like I said, even spread across the whole 30 inch circle. There was no gaps, not one gap uh, through the whole thing. And you know, we've shot multiple chokes and uh, you know, that's something you see quite a bit, but this, I mean, it's lethal. We had, we have some stray pigeons and stuff flying around <laughs> out here and uh, may or may not have obliged and uh, we could just let you know it's lethal. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, he smoked it. <laughs> we're in the middle of shooting this video. So anyways, like I said, I want to do, I'm going to do some more videos where we're shooting uh, like a decoy or something on the water and that's Jimmy's idea and it's a great idea because we've all seen where patterns where you shoot on the water we talked about this the other day is where you know if there's a wounded bird and they're out there 40 50 yards and if you don't get them shot they're gonna get out of reach of the dog they're gonna get out of reach of you they're gonna dive you're gonna lose them right well you only have a small little head because they the way they kind of scoot across the water trying to get away from you and we all know we don't want to lose any birds just mm -hmm. for ethicality purposes but um, that's where I seen this choke shine is it was like an implosion of water whereas you see a lot of other ammos and chokes the combination of those two you just see a bunch of individual pellets dancing mm -hmm. all around it and we'll mm -hmm. be like i hit that bird that yeah. pattern went all around it. if you've ever duck hunted you've had yeah. that experience like that whole thing was covered up it's yep. just pellets dancing all around it and it's it's a frustrating thing but and that that what was interesting is that that's just a passing choke that's not even the tightest choke that i could have in that gun so it's it's really interesting uh, and and really nice to see on paper that it's mm -hmm. consistent and even that's uh thomas's gun we'll probably do more later we might uh when the, the ufo comes back in stock we might do that one too but jimmy doesn't preach trying to get this crazy tight choke what he says it's like you want to throw a blank on them so whatever makes the fullest pattern that and the densest that's what you want to use so if you're under 40 yards the decoy choke is probably the best because when i first called i was like give me the tightest choke and he's like why why do you want the tightest one when you can have a bigger margin of error with a bigger pattern that's fuller and totally makes sense really highly suggest you guys go listen to the podcast we did with him on the mvm show it almost wrecked your thinking of what you've been told for all these years so thanks for watching this video guys and we'll see you on the next one